Greetings YouTube, family, friends, and subscribers. I am back from OHSU and they say I don't have an underlying neurological disease, but the next thing is to check for heavy metal. Uh, manganese actually, I've been a welder for so long and I have all the symptoms of manganese poison. And I also drank from a well that was really high in manganese for a couple of years on a spec house we were building. We didn't know the well was bad till we went to test it before we sold the place and found out it was uh, very, very high in manganese. So I'll test for that. I don't know if there's much they can do about it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this is the, the rebuild. I've got the alter, alternator rebuilt and facing the right direction. So now it's turning the right way. I have a two to one, a little over two to one. Uh, so when I'm, my shaft speed is 2600, my alternator speed is 5200. And at that RPM, it should not have any problem cooling and producing the power it's supposed to produce. And 2600 on this particular motor, according to the torque chart, 80% of its horsepower is produced at 2600. Well, I'm using way less than its maximum horsepower. So if I can knock a thousand RPM off the engine, and again, the reason why I want to use this one rather than on days like this, when it's just about well, Oregon sunshine. Oh look, there's another beetle kill. I better get that one too. Ah, it never ends. Where was I? Oh yeah, the reason why I don't want to use the diesel generator to charge the batteries through the inverter is twofold. Number one, that diesel uh, motor uh, depending on what country you're in, they list for over $3,000. And this one's $99. So I'd rather throw these away than put all the wear and tear on the Yanmar. The other thing is, the reason why alternators charge your battery bank better than using your AC generator to feed your inverter charger and feed your batteries, bulk your batteries that way, isn't very obvious to a lot of people, but what happens when you're using AC power? Like this, this big Yamaha here. Someone run the shop and the welders and everything on. It's 12,000. Boy, that'll run anything. But it won't put more power to the batteries than that alternator, and here's the reason why. An AC generator, you look at the sine wave, sinusoidal sine wave, it's only above 50% of the time, and you're using half the sine wave. So at 60 cycles, you're only charging your batteries half the time. Check me out. I'm right on this one. So a 60 cycle uh, AC generator feeding your inverter charger, hey, that's great, but you're only charging your batteries half the time because of the cycle. So the obvious thing to do is speed the cycle up. When you get it 400 cycles plus, because this is just a, a three phase AC generator, and it's got a bridge rectifier and a voltage regulator. The bridge rectifier takes the three phase wild AC and converts it to DC, and then the voltage regulator, the internal voltage regulator, holds it at a certain voltage. So when this thing's spinning, uh, at full RPM, six to 9,000 RPM, it's somewhere between a 400 and 800 cycles, pretty fast. So that the more cycles, the more often your batteries are being charged. So again, at a regular AC generator is set at 60 cycles, you're charging half the time. This thing is going to be running probably about 600 cycles at the RPM I'm gonna be running it. And it'll put a whole lot pa more power to the batteries a whole lot more efficiently. Now, I'm only able to put uh, 40 amps out of this thing, probably 30 amps continuous, 40 amps for an hour or so, and then it'll burn up. One that'll put out, you know, 80 to 100 amps, these Niehoff guys, they're 
well, they're $2,500 new, and they're, they weigh 130 pounds. This thing's 16 pounds. But I can get 30 amps out of this full time, according to the guy down at the shop. Now, my inverter generator, when I run the diesel, I can get 70 amps to my batteries, but I'm not doing it as efficiently as I'm doing it with this gas engine because the cycles are higher. The fuel spent per amp hour is actually better using an alternator. The other thing is that's not a $3,000 Yanmar. That's a 99 dollars uh, Harbor Freight motor from China. So hopefully I'm finding a way to charge the batteries the most efficiently. That is the least amount of wear and tear on machinery. And then number two, more amp hours to the batteries per BTU. Now I've got another diesel generator that I'm going to be working on where I'm going to put an auxiliary shaft on it and put a bigger uh, 150 amp alternator on it and it'll come off an auxiliary shaft so I can run AC or DC off of that and that's just an experiment it's just a backup it won't get used very often but if my MEP 016D military generator fails I won't be stuck with running this monster and this thing sucks a lot of fuel it's a twin cylinder 22 horsepower and it's got 42 hours on it and I'm going to be ordering a propane conversion kit so it'll be dual fuel it'll be gasoline or propane and that'll be up here at the shop where we actually have uh, need of it where we could run the gen the gener excuse me the welder or whatever we needed to run up here it'll run the whole ranch actually but it's not very fuel efficient seeing that we can buy propane here right now for a dollar 25 a gallon the best money right now is on propane and if you're burning propane in this thing and synthetic oil that's going to get the most longevity out of this beauty uh, i'm trading uh um some work to a friend that's having some trouble on his backup system and he's short on firewood and uh, he paid thirty nine hundred for this and they're still thirty nine hundred dollars uh, so it was just a trade it was doing him no good at all just uh, too big for what he had going anyway I hope this helps somebody sorry I ramble on and on have a very blessed day